Hey, hi. I'm Mona. This is Sacred Geometry Universe Video Journal Diary for um, May 24th, 2024. It's really sunny right now. Last night we had rain and it was cloud. It said it was going to be rainy today. But I just looked at the um, the weather and it says it's, you know, it's going to be sunny and then Sunday there's going to be rain. So, I mean, that's nice. I'll take it. Um, oh, I just saw somebody drive by and they like threw their trash out the window. That kind of sucks. Especially since I go around picking up trash around here, you know. You can really see all the marks on my face right now, huh? This right here, it's like a busted blood vessel I think it's flush there's nothing you know it's okay that's how it is out here even though I just cleaned my face you know people are starting to gather up and camp around some kind of strange characters around I just say to myself you know like Brian I just kind of stay right here with the doggies play ball with them and then take them down there today this morning though I I woke up to the uh, the gardening people, or the yeah the landscape guys. They had all their equipment right here, big old truck and another truck to unlock. And I just got up real quick and uh, headed out to the food pantry. Yeah, I went to a food pantry. I just want to see what was over there, because I know that they have them out here. They have some pretty good ones. But I just wanted to see. Plus, whatever I don't want, I will just give to whoever right here but um <clears throat> kind of some strange people driving around right now <laughs> right when i started this it's okay i just mind my own business you know what i mean but we went down there and uh, i went to one place and it was a church cathedral place and uh there was people like i, I got there like uh, 10 minutes before i was gonna close uh, but I was able to get some couple bags, just some beans and noodles and some cans of tomato sauce, just just some basic, you know. Um, no cold items, nothing. Oh yeah, a gallon, uh, not a gallon, but like a thing of milk. I love milk. I'll take it. I like it. Um, they were driving in with the boxes and and then once the guy was like, uh, "Would you like some milk, dude?" Every, it was like roaches. <laughs> they all went towards the guy. I was like, whoa. I just waited until everybody took. And then I was thinking, do I really need milk? Because, you know, I don't, I can't carry that much stuff in my coolers. And um, I was like, no, nah, I don't really need it, you know, because I have a whole one right here. And I saw the pastor right there. He's an Asian guy, you know, and he looks angry. He looks mad, you know. Maybe because he was seeing what I was seeing, how everybody was so scavenging right there, you know, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? I went there. I'm grateful for, you know, for them to give me whatever because, you know, I, I already have what I need. But there's a lot of people here that don't, you know what I mean, have much. And uh, anyways, uh, I went uh, up to him because by the milk. And he, he, he looks at me and he he doesn't have a happy face. He, doesn't, he didn't have a happy face. Hey! And uh, I walk up to him and I say, can I get a prayer from you, Father? And he goes, oh. He goes, prayer for what? Like, like he asks with his eyes like this, you know? And I said, ah, uh, for good health, you know? And he said, you know, a long prayer. I could barely hear him, number one. But I, because I recognized the words he was saying, I knew it was it was from the Bible. Uh, but when I was done, I, I almost felt like I wanted to pray for him for to bring joy into his life, <laughs> joy and happiness. He didn't look happy. He didn't look happy. And, and maybe because, you know, I mean, I don't want to assume anything, but it was like, it was a lot of people that were like scavenged, like, like they, like they weren't very grateful, you know, like it, he was shocked that I asked for a little prayer from him, you know, and, uh, 
that kind of made me feel some kind of way, you know? But it's, I mean, it's okay. It is what it is. You know, he's helping and, and, you know, he can't help it if people out here don't show gratitude or what, you know. And and after we were done with, with the prayer, he handed me the milk and then I felt bad to refuse. So I just, I took it. I took the milk. <laughs> I said, okay, because maybe that will make him happy. I don't know. Just to put a smile on his face, but it just still wasn't there. Like he wasn't very happy there and and he was doing a service he was helping people and you know i i guess i understand you know you can try to help people and you you will notice sometimes that they're not grateful or but at least you did your part you know what i mean at least you did your part and you did it without wanting anything in return and you just did it out of the goodness of your heart that should be enough you know for for a person even if the other person is not grateful, you know, because it, it just seems like, I mean, that's a church and they're just, they're offering this stuff. It's not like they have to do it, you know what I mean? But it's okay. Even I, I, I saw an empty cart right there and I, I took the cart and put it up behind the guy's truck. And I said, here, load it in here. You guys can get more inside. And they did that. And I, uh, I ended up pushing it in the building. No one is allowed in the building, but they let me go through to push it in there. So I did that, and then I just came back out, you know. But it was kind of a weird something when I was over there because it, it's a place for their forgiving, and, and people just didn't seem very grateful, you know, for that. Um, but I don't know. That's, you know. And then I went, and then when I was, uh, before I got my stuff, I just got a few bags of just some dry goods, which is fine. I'm grateful for that. And um, <clears throat> I was talking to a fellow right there, also waiting. And uh, just for a moment, I don't even remember what we were talking about, but it was, a, he was, uh, had a good attitude, you know what I mean? And, um, oh, I was talking about... Uh, I almost missed coming here, you know, because I did. When on the way there from here, I almost hit a dog. There was a, a dog running loose out there. And as I came over the hill and was coming down, boom, there's a dog. I was like, ah, me and the dogs were like, ah, <laughs> you know, but it, I didn't hit the dog. But it's, you know, it, it's okay. We made it, you know, and um, he's all, oh, are you going to go to, he called it something else. I know it as the crossing. He's like, are you going to go there next? They're open uh, until, uh, I don't know. He said, I think until 12 because the place I was at closed at 11. And I'm like, oh, yeah. He said, oh, okay, I'll, I'll go over there. And uh, so I went over there and I tried to pull up right next to it because of an empty spot. And the guy's all, oh, the car line is. I was like, oh, because it's all different now. So I went over to yeah. the car line, and the car line was long, but it's okay. I just sat on the car, you know, king of the hill, whatever, <laughs> you know. It actually went really quick. And then the guy came to ask people something in their window, and he came to my window because I had my ID on me, and I said, you know what? I I left, I left, lost my card somewhere. I don't know I don't know where that thing is. I have a card for this, but I don't know where it is. And he's all, oh, okay, take this number and go up there and park at the Salvation oh. Army and go inside. So... I went over there and I went inside and I saw the ladies and they were very smiley, very happy. And I said, you know, I, lo I don't know where my card is. And I said, I don't think, I think I, the last time I was here, like was over a year ago. Uh, and uh, the lady, she goes, okay, do you have $5? Because the, the card replacement is $5. And I said, no. I said, I have a card. You can charge it. Said, oh, we don't do that. It's cash only. I said, oh, no, I don't. I said, it's not very good to carry cash around nowadays. And the other lady's like, yeah, you're right, you know. And um, and she said, well, let me look you up in the computer. And she looked at the computer, and she's like, oh, yeah, here you are. And I said, you know what? You don't have to issue me another card. I said, because I will probably not be back for maybe another year or something. And she goes, oh. I said, you, if you can verify me on something to give to them outside, that should be enough. And she did that for me. She's like, okay, yeah, we'll do that. And so I went there, and they gave me a box. And in, in the box, there was, uh, like, uh, 
thing of ground meat, some bacon, some jerky sticks, which me and the dogs loved. I still have some left there. I give mostly to the dogs, you know. I'm not a big jerky eater. Um, and uh, what else was in there? Oh, sweets. I remember that place likes to give cookies and cakes. and You know, I don't like that. I don't really. So, I mean, I took it and I put it there. And then after that, because I knew I had that milk, I was more thinking about the milk because the meats they gave me were frozen, you know. But um, that's Ori's dog. It's so barky, so barky. My dogs are silent. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> I mean, they bark when they need to, you know. Um, so anyways, uh, when we're done there, I, I just, I ran, ran to the Walmart and I got one small bag of ice to put in the cooler. Because I had the cooler in there because I'm going to refill it with ice when we come back. And Walmart's on the way back. Walmart was packed. But lucky enough, when I went in there for just one bag, I was able to go in and get out, you know. So, and then I was like, you know what? Oh, and, and then after, actually, after, before I went to Walmart, I went to my, um, my post office box and the thing that was supposed to be there was not there and I felt a little bit of panic mode so I called the place and I said hey it's not here and um and she said well we sent it out April 27th and I was like no it's already gonna be you know it's the 24th I haven't even got it I should have gotten it maybe two weeks ago or a week ago, three weeks ago so I ended up having to go inside and, you know, the, the post office people, I don't know, they should just be honest, you know. <laughs> and she's like, well, we only receive packages for you. I said, no, you don't, because I don't accept packages. I don't order anything online. You shouldn't be getting any packages for me. It was like she assumed like she knew who I was. I've never seen that woman ever before in my life, you know. And she's like, oh, well, let me check, you know. And she's all, oh, well, maybe because it was sent under this name. And I said, no. I put in four alternative names that it could come under, so there should be no problem. And then the lady on the phone, I could hear her, because I told her, you know, come with me to the, up there and let's hear what they say, you know. And then she, she did some more digging, and she said, oh, the day that I switched my address with the bank was the day they sent out the card a day before. So they had already sent it to the old address. And I was like, oh, shoot. And she's like, and they sent it back, though. And I was like, oh, good. <laughs> because if they if, if they have to, if they lose the, the thing I needed, I have to redo everything. But she's always sent, they sent it back. We got it. We resent it out on the 21st. And I was like, okay. So uh, she said it should get there by next Wednesday. There's all kinds of little buggies around, you know when you sit outside in there it's free but i don't want to sit in there it's looking when the, what a nice day it is you know anyways so i have to stay here around here until wednesday i mean i only wanted to stay a week i was kind of trying to get out of here but maybe we'll just stay till the, I, I might have to stay till the end of the month because if it doesn't show up on wednesday then i'm in trouble so um Basically, I'm just going to wait around and I'm going to get whatever I need to take precaution in case it doesn't come in on time. And uh, that's pretty much it. But it's okay. I just, you know, I don't want to, I don't like to stress out. I don't like to stress out on stuff. I don't like to stress out on people. This is why I like, I enjoy to be alone, you know. Um, I was going to sit and, and read from, uh, from a book or, you know, whatever I read. But I thought, you know what, let me do this because it's already late. It's already, I'm going to have to get ready to make their dinner right now. But I, you know, I went and I took them to Krug Park. We did a nice walk over there and then we came back here. Oh, I got the big bag of ice and then we came back here. And then uh, I saw these guys and I basically gave them all the sweets. I don't really like this. They like it. And uh, I showed them the other things that they gave me and they're like oh we already we already have that stuff i said well you know what i'm gonna do not today tomorrow probably i'm gonna uh i'm just gonna make a big pot of like rice and beans and meat and 
we can all just dip in that, you know. Right now I have the beans are soaking, take it soak them overnight. And just make a big pot of food for whoever want it. You know what I mean? Because it's a, it's a lot for me too, and for people to be like, oh, we don't, you know. He took the sweets. I gave him a loaf of bread too, cause I have bread. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm gonna make a big pot of food and share it with whoever would like some. And um, that's about it, you know. Uh, after that, we went down to the water over there. Walking around, it was nice. Sit with the doggies for a little bit by the river. Um, I, I try not to appear to be antisocial or anything, but I just, I really, I like my time alone. Uh, I don't know what to talk about with most people out here unless it has to do with you know where i've traveled or things that you know are interesting to me are not really interesting to others especially if i talk about you know god and stuff or miracles or uh, yeah like you don't know what to really talk about and uh you know i went to school and studied science and stuff and i, I don't know about like Nobody around here is interested in talking about that stuff, I don't think. So it's kind of difficult. Or spirituality, or traveling. Like, people don't really... So I just kind of uh, come back here, talk, uh, play with the dog, and, and just read, and, and do it for myself, you know? I don't mind it, though. Like, like I said, I, I enjoy my time alone, because I just do. I've always been alone all my life, you know, even when people were there, I felt alone because I didn't really talk, you know, but, but now, you know, um, I mean, I spoke to those ladies yesterday, but that was kind of like, cause they were all into the cards and that was, it was my way in to tell them how or what they should do to better their life because their life is not, not looking good right now. Give a little hope. I don't know how much hope I gave, but I tried. I tried, you know. I'm not trying to push it on anybody to do better. You know, even though that's my goal out here is to make people feel better and do better and want to do better for themselves. But whether they do it or not, it's, I don't, you know, I can't push it, you know. But, yeah, you know, that's all I have. Um, I'm going to get ready and I'm going to make the doggies some food. Uh, I'm not really that hungry. Because uh, I, I, when we got back, it was like 3 o'clock, and um, I was hungry. I didn't eat when I was out there. Only I got one of those, uh, what is it, iced coffee from the Casey's, you know? And that's it. So I made myself like an egg sandwich real quick, so I'm not really hungry right now. But later on, I'll be, I'll be hungry. There's like all kinds of things flying around. But anyways, I'm Mona. This is Sacred Geometry University Journal Diary for uh, May 24, 2024, and I'll talk to you next time.